All right, so welcome back. Um, it is maybe about a week after my last video. Um, time to do the rock work. I showed you all, all my rock in my last video, uh, but I figured I'd give you all a preview of what it is right now. And then I don't plan on doing a time lapse of it because honestly, I just have no clue what I want to do yet. I, I know I want like three different islands. Um, but then I've also seen this cool rock scapes where they, you know, it's like arc after arc after arc everywhere. Uh, right now I'm thinking three islands and uh, so check this out. So I have these, I have three of these shelving rocks and I'm thinking that I might do three of these. One right under each light where I can grow a bunch of Acroporas and SPS. Um, and so far I have it to where it's being held like this. Um, here's the rest of the rock. I'm thinking I'm going to be doing something like that for the others as well. Not 100% sure. Depends on how well my rockscaping skills come out to be after I'm done with the rest of these. Right here seem pretty easy. Um, but we'll see. Um, I'll keep you posted as I build new ones. My plan right now is to mix this um, Marco uh, E-Marco 400 rock or something like that cement. I'm going to mix it and I'm going to be uh, using either the this putty knife, what the, to me it looks like a spatula, or this brush, we'll see what works best, to add, uh, add this across all these edges where the rocks meet because... In all honesty, this is not too sturdy, so I need to make sure that before I move it, I uh, there's cement all over it. All right, guys, so this is what I ended up with. As I shown you earlier, this is what I was working on. <laughs> yes, uh, I don't know. I mean, I did. I put, pretty much put a bunch load of, uh, of uh, cement all over. For, to make sure it's a pretty much a pretty secure fit. I mean, this is one piece here. That's one piece there. That's another piece there, and that's another piece there. And that's because I wanted to bring it up to like 16 inches, with what end up being like right here. And I don't know if I'm gonna do the other ones as tall. Um, I, I don't know what I want to do. Or if I want to make this the only island, and then the others like a different types of shapes, arc arches, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I guess, uh, and another thing I had, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it like this or if I'm going to flip it this way so that I can have that kind of view with a little, you know, swim through there. Um, or maybe even this, I don't know, maybe that right there, that looks pretty good. Um, I guess we'll see. We'll see, but that's, uh, I have all that much left after the cement. I have all that damn rock to still do. Um, we'll see, but this is going to be, uh, again, a long project because I'm not in any hurry. Um, and we'll go from there. So now that I've completed this masterpiece, <laughs> I'm going to put it in tank. My wife thinks I can't do it. She called me weak a little while ago. So I, let's hope that she's wrong because I actually don't know how strong this will fit. Will it withhold my having to dip myself into this tank? I have no clue. Oh my god, this is heavy. Um, whoa, it actually is holding though. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it though. Like this, I guess. And hope that nothing comes off of it. So, that has given me a good food for thought, or however that saying goes. Do not make them any heavier than this, because I don't see how I would be able to put in anything else that would be heavier. In this case, this literally has held. I'm thinking maybe putting it right there. Let's see how it looks, right? Uh, frontwards, you can't really see. 
badass design that I did. So maybe we'll do this. Okay. All right. I mean, let me know what y'all think. I think I'm gonna leave it like this until I create more and there'll be like separate islands in there. All right, let's see, y'all. To me, this will be hours. To y'all, it'll be a few seconds. All right, guys, and after a little bit more work, so this is, you know, as you saw a little, about two seconds ago, uh, this is this. I might, you know, keep flipping it around until I find the perfect spot that I like. I now have created this one. But let me tell you, I only glued that or cemented that one down right there because... I, this piece it's by itself is super duper heavy i mean duper maybe not but you know super heavy it is and and that rock by itself is heavy so when i carried just those two it was heavy i could only imagine how much more and i could carry it but can i, I just i felt like you know dropping it in here would end up you know i would drop in it or something that's the last thing i want to do mm -hmm. plus i feel like this is honestly very sturdy as it is without having to glue it and so I'm gonna just leave it as is and then work on a, a middle piece here. I have one more shelf and then in be so I'm gonna do one, two, and then three. And then in between that, maybe some small little islands of their own with the rest of this rock and, uh, and go from there. So uh, I figured maybe this is a long enough video. Um, don't wanna bore y'all too much, but this is what I have so far. Um, Give y'all a little turnaround tour here. It doesn't actually move or anything like that. Or well, it actually does move that way. So I maybe find something to put on the other side to make sure it just doesn't move at all. But it's it's a very heavy piece, so it's not going anywhere. Um so I'm doing the whole method of putting down the rock first and then I'll be putting the sand. I don't know what kind of sand I'm getting yet. I'm debating the the one that is on, uh, what's that site called? Uh, I, Matt Hatter's Reefs gets sponsored by it. Premium Aquatics or something like that. Uh, uh, Eden, something Eden. That's one, but then I'm also thinking of the bulk resupply, uh, Ragonite, which will end up being a little cheaper for as much sand as I want to put in here. Um, so I don't know yet. What are y'all's thoughts? Uh, what sand do you use? I, Remember, I'm gonna to try to make this a an SPS dominant. I have a very soft spot for uh, Euphilius, so I might, I might say SPS dominant, but end up with half and half or something. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know.